Hey, what's up, guys? I got a really cool video for you guys today. In this video, I'm gonna show you basically that the new legendary um, the difficulty side event thing uh, you can do it with only four stars. Because people were asking me like, do you need like on my stream like, do you need like, hard, is it hard? And I'm like, listen, you got good four stars. You don't even need rank five five stars. Just four stars. Okay, you can do the highest difficulty with relative ease. So. You don't even need like the best four stars in the game. I'm just showing you this gameplay just because why not? That's who I have, so I'm gonna use them. But um, yeah, I would say this first fight Nightcrawler could be a little bit annoying. Um, he's one of the few trouble fights. There's a few problem fights in my mind that I've um like pointed out. So this first Nightcrawler is not that bad. Um, once you if you use Ghost, um, you can super easily get him to his like no evade mode. But other characters, you can just pair three combo, but he's definitely just the first issue you're gonna run into but he's really not that bad honestly just if you know how to fight nightcrawler you should be fine um you can really use any character and just three combo into parries um so yeah, he's like the first trouble fight of like a few but other than that still once again you know even as a four star just clapping cheeks not hard only a four star ghost not boosted not any no suicide just nothing so it's really not that hard compared to what people think it is Next fight, Wolverine. It's a super easy fight. There's not that much to say about it. It's just a Wolverine. Once again, you can use literally anyone for this fight. He has no specific nodes to himself. Like, um, like some of the characters in this path have. Like, some of them have their own nodes, but he is not one of them. So you literally don't have to worry at all. So, once again, um, you can just use whoever. I'm bringing Guillotine in here just to get the charge for my, um, four-star one. Because it's a super free fight. Um... Just very easy specials to dodge, not much to it. So I was just bringing Guilty in to get my charge. Um, she works decently for this fight also, just because, um, what's it called? Because she can turn around just healing a little bit. So she can prevent some of the healing, not most of it, but a decent amount. So it's not like completely useless. It's still there at the end of the day. So we're basically just going to try to get the charge in this fight. It's super easy, just, you know. Five at combos, intercepting, just not much to it. Just slow playing it as much as possible. Um, so yeah, this is just super easy fight. Wolverine, not much to him. There's not that much to really say about this fight. I'm just gonna get my charge with guillotine. You could do this whole thing with guillotine 2099 if you really wanted to. Um, but I was using ghost just cause why not? No block damage, all that shit. So yeah. Getting the charge, very easy, very nice. The fight's almost over. We're gonna end it with the special three in a second. And um, yeah, the fight went really well. Very easy indeed, not much to it once again. But yeah, we're about to be at the end of the fight. We just need to fucking um, get him below 5% so we can throw a special three. And yeah, we're about to be there in a second and we threw it. So got the charge super easy fight it took like 100 hits it was a little bit of a long fight you don't need to bring guillotine 29 into this but i just thought she was super easy once she's ramped up to just like destroy everything without much brain power involved so i mean you can do whatever I, I, it's really up to you um at the end of the day but um i decided to bring it just for the charge i was gonna save it for a few fights this deadpool he has nothing specific on him once again so it's just a super easy fight i decided to activate my heal thing with guillotine I decided to bring her in this fight just so I could gauge how much damage she's doing as a four star um, with one of these. And then I think for the rest of them, I've been Ghost and Human Torch. I don't, I can't remember exactly, but we're using Guillotine. I'm looking at the damage. I'm looking like, okay, I think I'm gonna. I can't remember. Do I throw a special two? I think I throw a special two and then I save for a special three. The damage is really good on the Guillotine. Or maybe I just save. Okay, apparently I just saved for special three because I guess the damage is getting pretty high, which I guess is the safe bet. Um, I get, I think I, I might not have made it if I threw the special two in the beginning. So I think it was kind of smart that I didn't throw it just because the damage is just getting exponentially higher and higher. So, yeah. I think I'm glad I did not throw that. But we basically got him under 5% and then we threw the special three. Easy soul once again. Get in the bag. Throw that in there. And we got our soul back, so we can do damage next fight. So, the fight, um, the next problem fight for this is this rogue. There's a rogue next. And what makes rogue hard is just, you know, debuff, shrug off faster, all that stuff. But on top of all of it, um, she has Aegis Heavy Node, 
which is basically you won't she won't take any damage unless you heavy her four times. If you use a character like Black Widow, OG Black Widow, whose heavy attack um, is like a strand of four hits, that'll literally take all of them off. So like characters with one hit heavies are not as good for this because you have to heavy four times. Ghost, you only have to heavy twice because there's two hits in my heavy. And um, yeah, you can um, try to get heavies in at, with some parries, but it's a little bit difficult. Uh, I found um, baiting her heavy attack next to the wall was the best. If you do it in the open, she pushes herself back a little bit too much, so sometimes it does whiff. So if you want just the absolute safest way, just bait out heavy attacks near the um, edge of the wall or bait out special attacks, and you can just heavy intercept um, when she throws a special. So this is the next problem fight. You just try. You gotta just um, find good timings to throw heavy attacks. You can heavy after both of our specials if you can like get the distancing right, and if you get her against the wall, you can consistently heavy her um heavy attack. So yeah, that is rogue down in one second, and yeah, she's dead. Now we go into the next fight, which is what is it? Iceman. This is I guess a problem fight if you just don't have an Iceman counter. This could really screw you. Um, the attack values in here are pretty high, so you'll pretty much just die from the um, cold snap if you don't um, have a decent counter. So I just bought Ghost once again. Ghost, you know, means all debuffs, pretty fun. Don't have to worry about it at all. Just a basic Iceman fight at this point. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna play it normally, not much to it. Um, if you wanna make this easier on yourself, um, you could like activate a tech power boost if you have it for Ghost if you have her. But, you know, you don't even need, like, a super good character like Ghost or Guilty 29 to get through this. You just need, like, some decent four stars. I'm going to do a free-to-play run in this eventually on that account. And, um, yeah, I don't really have any, like, super top-tier characters that are, like, a high-ranked. I have Ghost and Corvus, but they're lower-ranked, so and they don't have, like, all the best masteries like this account does. So it, it's really just, you just need some decent four stars, and you can do the hardest difficulty if you're good enough. So yeah, right now we're just getting him to, we re-parry. I don't even want him to throw the special too, I just want to kill him, so I don't risk it. Um, what is this next fight? Um, long shot. He's like the final problem fight other than the boss. He basically has an annoying node that it's um, called Brawl, which is every f um, 10 seconds, both of you guys will go unstoppable for five seconds. So for the first 10 seconds of the fight, it's easy. But after that, he's going to activate Brawl for 5 seconds. And then instead of having a 10 second wait, it's going to be 5 seconds. Because um, you'll see what I mean. Like, see, we took 10 seconds. He activated Brawl. But now he is unstoppable for 5 seconds. And by the time this unstoppable is over, the, the original clock is already 5 seconds down. So it's like 5 second intervals every time. I just brought Human Torch for this fight just because it's a mystic and it'll burn. I got slapped there a little bit. A little bit of a rookie mystic. Um, but it's whatever. Um... We're doing some big damage. It's pretty nice. Just try not to get him to a special two if you can help it. Because if you don't want to incinerate immune character, that could just clap and one type you, which is a little bit annoying. And you don't have to deal with dodging it because it's also a little bit harder to dodge than the special one, I found. So, yeah, right here I just go for a special one. I think. Oh no, I dodged special two. Okay, never mind. He's dead. Um, yeah, pretty easy fight. He's definitely a problem fight. Um, if, you don't, um, if you can't kill him fast, you just gotta have to slow play it, basically. That's all there is to it. Next, we got a Psylocke and an X-23. Both these next two fights are like nothing fights. Um, I'm pretty sure X-23 has a specific note on her, but I've run through this quest like five times and I never even bothered to check what it is, so it's obviously not that important if I never noticed it. So don't worry about that. It's pretty much the problem fights, just that Nightcrawler, the Rogue, and that, um, what's it called in that? Uh, Lucky Boy, what's his name? <laughs> All right, I forgot his name. Longshot, that's his name. Just those are the three trouble fights, minus the boss. The boss is not the worst if you play it a certain way. Um, you'll see in a second. But um, yeah, we're going to get to the Sarlacc fight. Just a little bit tanky. You know, four stars don't hit that hard. And we're just going to beast our way through it. Um, so yeah, let's keep it going. With those special two and the fight's over. So next we're at the X-23 fight in a second. And um, yeah, there's not really much to her. Just like... She has some small regen, so I guess watch out for that. But you should have a character that can out-damage. I mean, you have to have a really weak 3-star to not be able to out-damage X-23's healing, but should be fine. Shouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't bring 3-stars for this. I tried doing a 3-star challenge, but I found it a lot more annoying because um, the block efficiency was just killing my characters. It was so bad. So do not bring 3-stars into this. If you're really skilled, you can do it, but don't advise it. Also... I forgot, there is a note in this character. It's Aspect of Death. 
So you just need a character to be above 50%. Um, I said degens 50% and then regens 50% instantly. So if you go into the fight with 49% health, you're gonna die. But if you go in with 51% health, you're gonna go down to 1% and then regen back to 51. So just make sure you have a character that has um, an over 50% of their health. I forgot about it, but this is really not a hard fight, so not really a problem fight. Now you're on to the final boss, and this boss is interesting. It's a unstoppable colossus, and it has the node slumber, which basically is he's stunned in the start of the fight for 15 seconds and then after the stun wears off he has a 1000 percent fury buff so this fight you can really just revive and throw characters at him if he's clapping you um just in that 15 second duration you can just get all your damage and it's pretty nice i think the node's also supposed to be he's stunned and power locked but the node wasn't really working i don't think uh surprise surprise so I could have gotten a lot more damage there, but I just had to wait to not let him get to special three. It's a 1000% fury buff. I was actually curious to see how much this fury buff is. So I'm gonna go for a parry here. Uh, in a second I will. And in a second. All right, never mind. You'll see, I'll go for a parry at one point. It's a 1000% fury. So it, he will hit pretty hard through your block. I was testing it, I think soon to see how much damage would do. And it did not do as much damage as I thought. Um, do not bring three stars once again. I brought a three star into this fight, and the 1,000% Fury just clapped my character, dude. Like, it just, like, block damage is just too nutty. So, just some decent ranked four stars should be able to do this, as long as you know how to play well. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, not much else to it. Itemless, fully itemless with four stars. Not the hardest thing I've ever done. I tried three stars, failed miserably, used a lot of revives, just and because I didn't look at the path, so I just brought the wrong characters on top of it. So yeah, you can probably do this with three stars if you're really skilled, but yeah, it's, I'd advise just bring four stars. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, and subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.